Hello everyone, my name is Mahdi Hajibabai and I will be presenting the 11th problem set to you. In the first question, we have to determine the gradient and hessian of f with respect to x. I encourage you to write down f as a function of each element in x and find out the solution in this way. In the first part of the second question, you have to write down the joint probability distribution of your data. Since the data is independent and identically distributed, you can write down joint distribution as a product of each probability distribution and get a simpler form for your answer. In the second part, you have to find out hyperparameters mu and sigma that maximize the likelihood of your data. Since logarithm function is monotonically increasing, you may also maximize the log likelihood of your data. In the third and fourth part of this question, you have to compare your empirical estimate to the true parameter values to see whether your estimate is biased or unbiased. Keep in mind that your empirical estimate depends on all random variables. In the implementation part of your, this exercise, you first have to implement k-means algorithm and then apply it to the two-dimensional faithful data and three-dimensional RGB values of an image. So first, you initialize your cluster center either from your data by subsampling some points of data or just some random point in the scale of data. Then make sure to try different values for k to see which one gives you better cost function. And but keep in mind that the highest value for k does not represent the best fit to your data. You may check out base information criterion to know more about choosing the model complexity for your data. In the final part of this exercise, you have to compress an image using the k-means algorithm that you just developed. So first you transform your image into a vector of RGB values into three, in three dimension, and then apply the k-means algorithm. Keep in mind that you can early terminate your algorithm if you are not improving your cost functions. I hope you enjoyed this exercise session and thanks for your attention.